Hey guys, it's Saturday, which means this is the last frame. I gotta tell you, I'm having a lot of fun doing these Saturday videos, in part because they're really quick to shoot and really easy to edit. They don't take three or four days like some of the tutorials. But more importantly, I feel like the people that are watching these Saturday videos are really kind of my diehard followers. You're the group that are also participating in the Facebook group, and a lot of these conversations carry over into Facebook. So if you haven't checked out the group yet, please do. I posted the link in the info section below. I think you'll enjoy it. It's not your normal Facebook photography group. I wanted to share with you an article by Robert Vanelli at photofocus.com. Robert attended the NECCC conference that I spoke at last weekend, and he's posting an article at PhotoFocus that's all about Rich Friedman, who is a world-class photojournalist and also was one of the presenters. The story is about a shoot that Rich did with Rob Gronkowski of the New England Patriots for Sports Illustrated. They break it down step by step, all the decisions, the hows, the whys, everything, including the psychology that was involved to be able to buy more time working with Gronkowski and his really busy schedule. I encourage you, if you're shooting people and if you're trying to learn lighting and you want to work on location, you need to read this article and maybe even read it a couple of times because there's a lot of really, really great information in it. So a little teaser for you. I'm shooting this video in front of the front door to my house. I'm going to be preparing a video that shows you guys how you can find really great backgrounds and really great light all around where you live. Your front doors, your backyards, in your garage, in the middle of the day when it's bright and sunny outside. So stay tuned, that'll be coming in the near future. Last but not least, my thought for this week is depth of field. I'm begging you guys to go out and read and learn and then practice what depth of field really is. I can't tell you how many people I come across and their knowledge of depth of field is the idea that that gives you a blurry background. That could not be more wrong. Depth of field is probably the most creative tool that a photographer has in their arsenal without going to Photoshop or Lightroom or without using any kind of tricks or additional gadgets. Now understand that there are four things that impact depth of field. A lot of people say there's three. No, there are four. So let's see if you know them, get out and practice them, and I promise to give you a video in the near future with the most detailed breakdown of depth of field and how it works and how it impacts your photographs that you'll find anywhere. So in the meantime, you guys know the drill. Remember, your best shot, it's your next shot. So please, keep learning, keep thinking, and keep shooting. Adios. Thanks for watching. If you find these videos helpful, please give them a thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And if you've got a question that you'd like answered, post it in the comment section below. Your question could be my next video.